Welcome to Sir Wins Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 01, Gross Profit Method, Fire Loss. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but actually by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simula na natin. So again, Lecture 01, Gross Profit Method, Fire Loss. Here is our problem. On December 31, 2021, a big fire caused severe damage to the warehouse of Maan Company. So given yung sales at yung related to inventory items, okay, for the year 2020 and 2021. At the beginning of 2021, the entity changed the policy on the selling prices of the merchandise in order to produce a gross profit rate of 5% higher than the gross profit rate in 2020. So may change in policy. And damaged merchandise marked to sell at 500,000 was salvage. Damaged merchandise marked to sell at 100,000 had an estimated realizable value of 10,000. Okay, so the question is, compute for the amount to be reported as inventory fire loss. Okay? So how do we do that? So unang punto, anong method of estimation ang gagamitin natin? The answer is gross profit method. How do we know? Wala kasing mga binigay na information uh, regarding retail. Okay, so therefore, ang assumption talaga, gross profit method ang ginagamit. And how do we do that? First, we have to compute how much is the gross profit rate for the year 2020. At yun yung gagamitin natin okay, to estimate in the year 2021 together with the change in the policy. Okay? Gawin na lang po natin. So again, how do we compute for the profit rate? Simple lang po siya. Okay? We compare the sales and the cost of sales to get this what we call gross profit. Ayan. So basically, given nung 2020 yung sales, and that is amounting to 6 million peso. So ito po yun. Okay, ngayon, hindi binigay yung cost of sales, but rather, ang ibinigay is yung mga account related to that. Therefore, we will solve later on. At hindi pa din naman binibigay yung gross profit nga, kasi kailangan mong malaman to. Therefore, immediately we can answer for that. Okay? Ngayon, isolve na natin yung cost of sales. Na basically, nagsisimula siya sa beginning inventory. Na basically, ang sabi ng problem, zero. So, therefore, zero po yan. May pagkakataon naman talaga, malay mo, kasi simula nila, therefore, wala silang beginning inventory. Okay? And then, afterwards, we have to add the purchases. The purchases is amounting to 5,600,000. At merong purchase return, okay, which is a deduction to purchases that is amounting to 100,000. Ngayon, may isa pang kailangan para masolve nga yung cost of sales. And that is what? The ending inventory. Meron bang ibinigay? The answer is yes. Merong ibinigay nung 2020. Nasaan? Ito. Yung beginning inventory ng 2021. Wag dapat tayong malilito na merong relationship yung dalawang taon na to. And that is the ending inventory of 2020 will be the beginning inventory of the next year, 2021 na nga. So, ibig ko sabihin, this will be 1 million. Okay? Kahit hindi sinabi, directly dito kasi nga iisa naman daw po yun. Okay? So, by doing that, given na po lahat, nagkataon ito'y zero, huwag yung i-assume na meron kung walang ibinigay kasi walang ibang way para malaman yan. Okay? So, therefore, we can say, please assume this is zero and we can solve for the cost of sales. Okay? So, gamitan natin ng calculator. So ayan, nandito na yung calculator, hinanap lang. So yun, so 5,600,000 yung pong purchases natin. Okay? So meron siyang return na 100,000 at meron ding ending inventory na 1 million. So therefore, what can we say? The ending in the cost of sales is 4,500,000 for 2020. Na basically siya yung gagamitin natin to compute for the gross profit and later on the rate. Ayan. So we have to deduct the cost of sales to sales. So how much is that? 6 million, okay? Minus 4,500,000, that would be 1,500,000. And after we get the gross amount, we have to compute for percentages. Na basically, ang sales is 100%. Kasi the usual assumption is based on sale. So again, the gross profit 
of 1,500,000 will be divided to the sales of 6 million. So therefore, we will get that the gross profit is 25%. And to get for the cost ratio, answer minus 1. So basically, that would be 75%. Okay? So ngayon, supposedly ito rin yung rate na gagamitin natin pag estimate ng ending inventory na nasunog sa kasunod na taon. Nga lang ang sabi dito, okay? The gross profit rate is 5% higher than the rate in 2020. Therefore, the gross profit rate for 2021, okay, sulat po natin, for 2021 is not 25% but rather it is 30% because it is 5% higher. So, siyempre, ang sales ay ganun pa rin, 100%. So, basically, ang ating cost of sale is 70%. Hindi na po natin pinakita. Kaya kaya nyo na yan. Okay? So, ganun pa rin. Okay? To get for the ending inventory, pwede nyo yung kompletuhin. Pwede na namang diretsyo nating isolve. Tingnan natin kung saan mas maganda yung approach. Okay? Ang ibig ko sabihin, solve ulit natin yung cost of sales ng 2021 kasi nga given naman yung sales. Okay? Na 6 million. Ngayon, how much is the beginning inventory? Sabi dito, 1 million. Okay, so therefore, we write it here. 1 million, okay? 1 million is the beginning inventory. And then, there is a purchases of 8 million. So, 8 million na purchases. Okay? At ang sabi pa, there is a return of 500,000. Okay? There is a return of 500,000. O, tumuli pa po tayo. Given by yung ending inventory, the answer is no. Okay, given ba yung cost of sales, hindi pa natin masasagot. Okay, kasi nga, dito tayo pupunta. Dito tayo mag-estimate. Ang ibig ko sabihin, alam na po natin na 70% of that sales is going to cost of sales. So, how much is that? Okay, so 6 million times 70%. So, we will get 4 million 200,000. Malamang bababa ang cost of sale ratio kasi nga tumaas yung gross profit rate ratio. Okay, so to get for the gross profit, okay, just to, to complete the table, that would be how much? 1,800,000. But then again, hindi naman talaga yung gross profit ang kailangan natin to estimate the ending inventory but rather the cost of sales. Which is basically ang sabi dito, 4,200,000. Ayan. So therefore, isosolve natin yung ending inventory dyan. Okay? So we solve. We start with 1 million. By the beginning inventory, plus 800, plus 8 million, which is the purchases, nandito po, minus the return. So we will get, okay, 8,500,000. Okay? That is the tigas. But then there is a cost of sale of 4,200,000. So therefore minus 4,200,000. So what can we say? Okay? The ending inventory is 4,300,000. Okay, nasagutan na po natin by using squeeze. Okay? Marami pong ibang presentation diyan pero ako mas gusto ko ngayon ganitong approach kasi nga kita mo nang diretso, iisa yung format na tinatandaan mo. Hindi mo na kinakailangan magbago, mag-isip ng bago pang approach. Isa lang ang alam mo sapat na yun. Okay? So ngayon, hindi naman talaga ito yung tanong, yung ending inventory. But rather, ang tinatanong po dito is how much is the inventory fire loss? Na basically, kung sakaling lahat nasunog, ito na rin mismo yung fire loss. Nga lang may mga pagkakataon, meron kang naiisalba. At yan yung mga yun. Okay? So in order to solve for that, <coughs> we will start with ending inventory. The ending inventory is amounting to 4,300,000. At alam mo na meron kang na-save yung undamaged, okay? Merchandise. Ngayon, magkakaroon ka lang ng counting caution kapag ka undamaged merchandise. Kasi baka mamaya kung ano yung amount na ibigay, automatically yun yung ididak mo. Kasi ang idea, baka mamaya yung undamaged merchandise is hindi at cost, but rather at selling price. If you can remember, dapat ang measurement ng inventory still ay lower of cost or net realizable value. Ngayon, itong 500,000 kasi, wala naman siya dun sa dalawa. Ngayon, ang ibig kong sabihin ay ano, uh, maaaring ito yung net realizable value, pero, okay, ay siya ay may cost, may cost pa. 
Kung wala namang sinabi na ito parang may damages or whatever, na ito na yung pinakang realizable value niya after the damage, ang punto ko lang, malamang, sa dami po ng aking sinabi, mas mababa pa rin ang cost dyan. Kasi nga, ang damage yun at ang binigay ay selling price. Kung sakaling nakasabi dito, ay at cost na daw, at cost, therefore, diretso na siya na yun ang ididak mo. Nga lang, since that is at selling price, you have to to ano, to convert that into cost. Ang ibig kong sabihin, hindi ba ang profit percentage mo nga ay 30%, therefore ang cost niyan ay 70%. We will assume that happens on 2021. So malamang yun yung kanyang percentage. Okay, inventory yan ng 2021, part siya nito. Part siya nung 70% na cost. Okay? So now how much will be the undamaged merchandise? Okay? That would be 500,000 times 70%. So that would be 350,000. Ang treatment dyan, imaminus mo. Kasi ang, tina ang hinahanap nga kasi natin sa parting dulo is this what we call fire loss. At alam naman natin na ang kailangang makuha dito yung nasunog. The fact na hindi nasunog yung 500,000 pero ang cost talaga niya 350,000, dapat tanggalin mo yun para makumpit mo nga yung, yung fire loss. Okay, so too much for that. Ang sabi pa dito sa problem, other than undamaged merchandise, there is also a damaged merchandise. That's why this damaged merchandise will also be deducted. Okay? Ang sabi dito, it was marked to sell at 100,000. Ito yung sinasabi ko na uh, hindi na yung hindi yan yung realizable value, okay? But rather ang binigay dito, the estimated realizable value is the 10,000. Okay? Maari din naman pero siyempre, may pagkakataon na hindi. Eh lower nga ang pinipili natin. Selling price kasi yun, hindi eh, mababa pa yung ko sigurado yun. Okay, ngayon 10,000 ang realizable value. Ang tanong siya na baka agad ang ilalagay mo dito. The answer is no. You have to take caution. Ang ibig kong sabihin, baka mamaya yung kanyang cost ay mas mababa pa din. Therefore, lower nga tayo, di ba? Lower of cost and net realizable value. Okay, so in other words, you have to compute how much is the cost. Since this 100,000 is also marked to sell, meaning may profit pa yan, nandun pa yung 30% na profit rate. Therefore, you have to compute for the cost, okay? The cost is 70% or 70,000 of that. 70,000 ang cost, ang realizable value is 10,000. So therefore, na we can safely assume, we can safely assume that the 10,000 is lower the realizable value. At basically, hindi rin siya part ng fire loss. Kasi nga, marerecover mo pa siya. Hindi man yung buong 70,000 or hindi mo man mabibenta ng 100,000, at least marerecover mo yung 10,000. So again and again, how much is the fire loss? Okay, so we have to compute. The ending inventory is amounting to 4,300,000. The undamaged merchandise is 350,000. The, the, the damaged merchandise at net realizable value okay, is 10,000. So therefore, okay, the fire loss is amounting to 3,940,000. At yan na po yung sagot natin. So, yun lamang at maraming salamat.